Next big thing. They're great. Moving right along, we got Trevor Lacey right here. Uh, what, did, what did Trevor Lacey do? He committed to Alabama. Heading down to the roll tide. Staying yep. in state. Gave his, gave his mom a, a great birthday gift, decided to stay home. And, and you know, um, they were saying the other day, you know, I think a great quote uh, was, you're never happy when you lose a four- or five-star guy like Trevor Lacey. But in this recruiting class, I mean. They didn't need him. Yeah. I it's mean, okay. You know. It, Still considered by many to be the greatest class ever. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, you know, it, it would have been nice to have that guy. Shooter is always welcome. Um, you know, it, it kind of shows me that, you know, he's not really – you know, in it to be, you know, a bench guy this year at Kentucky. He's going to go to Alabama. He's going to start. Which is understandable. Yeah, possibly could be and, the best player for Alabama next year. I mean, we really don't know if Cal Party honestly pushed hard enough to go after him. I mean, did he honestly want him hard enough? Exactly. He could have, you know, he could have laid off towards the end and just knowing he's got, you know, the what he's got coming in. You got four of the top 18 players in the class. Definitely, that's a great that's a great point, Tyler. That's something that you you know that us as fans, um, if you're not in, you know, talking with the coach, you never know, um, you know, really what's going on. Um, a guy that Louisville was actually looking at last year, Tony uh, Roten, uh, out of Seattle, uh, came out on his Twitter account and said, "Why isn't Calipari showing me any love anymore?" But yet he was always listed as a possible, you know, Kentucky recruit. You never know how bad these guys, you know. A lot, lot of it's perception. Yeah. You know, what, what rivals and scout, what they say on their lists, a lot of that's perception. Oh, yeah, and it's hearsay. You know, these guys, you know, as, as cutthroat as the recruiting, you know, world is today, these guys aren't going to go on scout and tell, you know, this is what we exactly want to happen. You know, uh, the Trevor Lacey situation was probably, you know, if we're going to lose Liggins, Knight, Harrelson, you know, and probably Lamb, you know, Trevor Lacey, we do need you to come in here and you play major minutes. But we have Deron Lamb coming back. You know, we have Terrence Jones coming back. You're not as high up on our list as you once were, is what I envision happened, which I envision saying. Which a lot of people didn't, you know, see Jones coming back, being everybody thinks Cal Parr is the one and done coach. So I didn't, I didn't see Jones coming back. It's definitely good, I didn't see him coming back. Definitely a great thing for Kentucky's program. No denying that. I oh, mean, it, it's a huge thing for Kentucky's program. Now, all of a sudden, they're they're a uh, uh, national uh, champion contender. You get to add to the they, top they, recruiting class in the nation. You, gotta and say you get to bring back one of the top recruits, without a doubt. I mean, that, Jones coming back, not to switch topics, but was just huge. Oh yeah, yeah. Now the big lead, you know, the big lead dot com. They did bring up an interesting point. You know, they did their very very early preseason top twenty five, and they talk about. Terrence Jones, you know, Terrence Jones, Ron Lamb, Darius Miller, all them coming back with the touted freshman class that you have. You know, they see any – they see, you know, the old guys versus the new guys type of battle that could cause chemistry problems. I think it's just them personally trying to take shots at Kentucky. But what do you, what do you guys think? Do you think, you know, the, the old guys are going to start some stuff with the new guys? Terrence Jones being an old guy? Hey, he's a sophomore in Cal Poirier's program. He's – He's a, he might as well be a senior Calipari. citizen. He might as well be a fifth-year senior. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't think so. I think Darius, you know, obviously he didn't leave for a reason. He knows what's coming in. Same with Jones. He, I mean, the lockout's there at the NBA. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows it could, you know, be a factor into your, you know, your status of the draft, your money in the future. But he came back for a reason. He's enjoying the college experience, and I feel like he knows what's coming in. You could, you could, it could be something special. Oh, definitely, and I could see, you know, I could see summer randomness we have going on here at Kentucky <laughs> I'll tell you what, Cup. during the summer, you, I mean, you got to watch out, you know. What, what do we got here? Well, look at this what, service. What, what, hey, that's, uh, Fan Fist holds any kind of beer. I'll tell you what, they don't discriminate. And what else doesn't discriminate is against this type of dancing we got going. Got the craziness. Crazy dancing going. During the summer, you know, months, I mean, there's just crazy stuff going on. I know. Not much not much news here in uh it's Kentucky. It's going on down down going on with the summer months. No, but but with with, with Jones, I mean I I personally I'm a Louisville fan. I would prefer Louis, that Kentucky didn't do that great this upcoming year. But I don't see there being a big chemistry issue. In college basketball, you don't see for the most part, you don't see that. 
You don't see guys expecting to score 20 a game too much. Occasion, am I wrong? I think I, I think you do have that. I think it's yeah. I think it's behind well, the scenes. You, okay, but I mean, how often? I think it's I think it happens a lot at the smaller schools. Uh, I think North Carolina had a big problem with that when? earlier on earlier on in the season. You know, um, point guard issues. Yeah, point guard issues. You know, I don't know. You know, I don't think Harrison Barnes really knew how he wanted to fit in with that system early on and with getting the ball down low. Uh, but I think it happens more often than not. It happens a lot of the times with the programs that get big recruits. Uh, Baylor, I think Baylor had a lot of chemistry issues this year. Well, um, yeah, that they had a big expected. time recruit come back, and Perry Jones the third. Yeah, he decided yeah. to come back. Who nobody that was that's bigger than Jones to be honest with you. I, I feel like that. Oh yeah, as far as what you think, because he needed the money. You mm-hmm. know his. The, he lost the you, you know mean, the last he couple days of the tournament. He needed the money by coming back to Baylor. Oh, that that too. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, guys, I need the money. I'm gonna take a commercial break real quick here. I get paid every commercial break I take. It's big money thrown around here at KentuckySports.co. We'll be right back in just a minute. <laughs> 